everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on um, how to make your foundation last for longer if you've got oily skin. Or maybe just how to stay matte for longer, I guess. Anyway, these are some tips and products that I've um, started using recently that have really helped me. Um, yeah, this tutorial is going to be on how I stay matte for all day. And I hope you enjoy. Okay, the first product that I'm going to use is something that I discovered on Makeup Alley. And if you haven't heard or tried Milk of Magnesia as a sort of primer before you start all of your makeup, then go check out the reviews and um, if you like what you read, and a lot of people agree that this works for people with oily skin. It is actually um, a laxative. Uh, well, what just happened? <clears throat> it's actually a laxative, but um, apparently Magnesia is very good at mattifying and absorbing oil I suppose so you might even find this ingredient in some primers so if you're not comfortable using a laxative on your face um, yeah look for that as an ingredient I got this on eBay and I will link the seller that I bought it from because I can only find it in the US anyway I'm using a little cotton ball with a little bit on it I usually sort of press it off onto the back of my hand and then I just sort of swipe it over my oiliest areas. Now you need to check in the mirror that you don't have any chalky spots because if you have excess product on your face, your makeup won't slide over it properly. After that, I do use a primer um, for no reason at all. The one that I'm using right now is Arbonne Primer. I just don't have any other at the moment. It's pretty good. Um, so I'm using a small amount and I'm going to rub it over my hands and then pat that in just because I don't want to sort of rub off the um, milk of magnesia. Something else I'm going to do is take an eye primer and apply that all over my eye area. So that's under my eye and um, on my lid. This is so that when I apply um, foundation and concealer over that area, it won't crease. The primer that I just used is the Australis primer. Now you can choose your foundation. My favorite for daytime wear is the Garnier BB cream for oily skin. Now I've got some on the back of my hand and I'm going to use my synthetic F80 Kabuki brush from Sigma and I'm going to apply that to my entire face. Now all of that is on and I'm going to use my Cover All Mix Concealer Wheel from a Makeup Store I'm using my Sigma concealer brush. Just use your finger to pat that in. going to use my P86 Precision Tapered Synthetic Brush to blend that out under my eye. So a lot of people ask me about why I don't use powder in my videos. I actually do use powder, especially in summertime, but I usually apply it later on when my skin starts to get oily just because I prefer the dewy, radiant look that you get from just using your foundation and it sort of reflects. When you go and mattify it straight away, um, you don't have that look. Anyway, this is the Sexy Mama from, what is it by? The Balm. And I am using this because this is going to help prolong the matte finish to your face. So I'm using a powder brush and I'm just going over all my face. Now is when I'm going to do the rest of my face. So people with oily skin or combination skin, you want to make sure that you're just using powders on your face uh, where you can help it. And I'm going to use Benefit Hula Bronzer with my Sigma Angle Contour Brush. Dieting's not going so well guys, so I'm just going to help myself out here. Really blend that out. I'm gonna take my tapered highlighter brush from Sigma and the Mary Luminizer from the Balm. Because you've got a mega matte face right now, um, I'm going to bring a little bit more uh, luminosity to my face. So I'm applying that just on the top of my cheekbone. And then I'm going to blend it out with my face powder brush just because I don't like using too much of that product. Now something that I love to do um, when I've got a tan is wear a lighter blush, of course it's in powder, um, a lighter 
blush then your skin tone is going to really make your cheeks look rosy and healthy and larger um, and I really like rosy cheeks and for that I'm just going to use my contour brush because I didn't have another one now I'm gonna do my brows and I'm just using my coconutty eyeshadow from Flirt. Now I'm using mascara. This is the Australis Killer Curves. I really like this one. It doesn't flake. It doesn't smudge. Um, and it's really affordable. But my lashes are not behaving today. And I just like to apply it to my top lashes for some reason most of the time. So I'm going to line my lips with Bashful Lip Liner. I'm then going to use Peach Perfection Pout Polish from Sleek. Mm, that product is so nice. That's it. Got it in my swab. Okay, so this is the finished look. For me, I find that this stays matte for maybe four five hours which is pretty good if you have oily or combination skin. I'm sure that you know depending on the heat it's just inevitable that your skin is going to sweat up and oil. So um, what I do is using that certainly helps, um, but as I said, the temperature and things like that, the sun can sort of affect it. So you need to keep in your purse a couple of things. And a lifesaver for me recently has been blotting tissues, which I never really used, but recently I got these. These are the tea tray oil from the body shop. And what you do is you take a sheet, usually I need to take like two sheets, and you press it to your face. And whew, that's the test right there. No oil came off on it. But usually um, you see like the oil is absorbed by this without smearing or smudging or transferring your foundation. So these are really good. It's only a few dollars and you get quite a lot. Um, and yeah, so you do that as opposed to like sometimes when I'm really hot, I'm like, oh, and then all this oil comes up on my mm, and it's like icky so yeah do that and then bring your powder and a powder brush and then after that you just pat that over it to make sure that you're matte I don't know why I had to reenact the whole thing there um, but yeah so just carry those two products in your bag and it certainly helps um, if you want to use like a tinted powder or something I'm really actually loving the Lori Geller one this is apparently great as um, a foundation if you've got nice skin naturally. For me, I just like to layer it over a light foundation and it really helps. Some other products that I really love. Um, mornings I use this product. It is the Grown Organic Alchemist Facial Moisturizer for Matte. Facial Moisturizer Matte. Balancing Combination Skin. It's the Acai Berry and Borago. So Grown is a brand that you can get on www.grown.com and I think I looked at the stockers and in Australia you can buy at some Terry White chemists, chemists, chemists and David Jones. But I just looked in the ACT stockers there so I could go have a look at the rest of the line. Um, but yeah, this stuff is really good. Mega expensive but you use like the tiniest pea sized amount on your face, smear it out. Sometimes I just use this as primer and skip the rest. Um, as I said, it just depends on how long I plan to be wearing the makeup for, but this is really good. Also, a couple times a week you should use a mud mask. I use the Pure Source Rotorua Thermal Mud Mask. You can, I think, make your own mud mask. You can buy like powdered mud or something and make your own. But yeah, this one is really good and it absorbs all your oil. And that must be it. Hope that you guys really enjoyed my tutorial and if you've got any tips for oily skin I would absolutely love to hear it. Um, all information should be in the down bar and thank you very much for watching. Bye! Mwah.